What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to go back to the Chang'e 4, which was of last year, and I believe this is in August. The photo we're going to examine is, to me, is a joke. It's kind of like the Chang'e 3. When I first did those, I jumped all over those photos and found that they do the same thing that NASA does to the moon photos, to the Martian photos, and any other photo of any body in the solar system, whether it's a moon or a planet, how they send to these photos. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's where you can get the photo. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop the link in the pinned post, as usual. And you can see this from Sky and Telescope, the essential guide to astronomy, right? All right, so here's the photo right here. You can see it says, New images from China's Chang'e 4 as 8th lunar day ends, okay? And you can see, we'll go ahead and zoom into that. Make it a little bit bigger for you. And you can see August 7th, 2019, so a little over a year ago, right? This is what I love. I think this is funny. Here's a description here on the side. This composite image showing the shadow of the U-2 two rover right here you can see the little satellite dish and the camera in the shadow roving tracks and the distant Chang'e 4 lander was taking during lunar day 7 now i'll have some people say well that's a composite photo so it's really not real well of course it is let's have a look and you can see right here it says definition of composite photograph right a photograph made by combining several distinct photographs either made one over another on the same plate or made on one print from a number of negatives. So it is, in fact, a real one, okay? Now, it's the same thing kind of like the rover does on, on Mars right now, right? It does what they call Z-stacking. And what they'll do is, let's suppose for a moment, you got the background, the middle ground, and, of course, you got the foreground, right? Well, Z-stacking is, according to NASA, what they do is, let's just say in the foreground, you're looking at this particular rock. So now we're nice and clear, we're zoomed in, we're, we're actually uh, focused in on there, so it's nice and clean, but the background looks like trash. Well, by Z-stacking, and this is no different from like a composite, now we go to the middle part of the photo and we can get it nice and clear and focused in there. But now that in the background looks bad, meaning not in focus. Okay, now we take a photo in the background and get that focused. And of course, if that's focused way in the background, the front part's going to look like crap. But now what they do is they take the front one, which is focused, the middle and that, and they put it all down into one photo. So they stack it, and then they take the photo of the actual three sections of photo, focus photo. And that's how they Z-stack or make a composite, so to speak. So this is no different. Now, on the upper right corner, I don't know how they call that a lander. I'm kind of confused. And you'll see what I mean when we really zoom into this, right? But the first thing that pops out to you is where is the detail in this photo here on the right? Practically, the whole right of this photo is completely trashed. Now, I can't zoom anymore, but you'll see like right here, you can see in this area right here, that's actually good detail. All the way around it, nothing. Absolute nothing. And where do these wheel marks go? They just stopped right there and that's it? It looks like it turned around right here. You can see that? But no, there's something else there too. So I don't know if they faked these wheel marks or what they did because, you know, it just, you'll see what I mean when we get into this because you'll see like this, Right here, like this texture is different, right next to the wheel box. And you can see right here, there's something sitting there. But here's the bigger question. Let's suppose I'm wrong. Where are the wheel marks from the lander to here? Where did all that go? Did it have a snowstorm there and suddenly covered up the the uh, the marks? Well, clearly, we know that's not true. So what's going on here? Well, all in the background, completely manipulated out. Let's jump right into this. All right, here it is right here. And guys, this is funny. I'll show you this real quick. I don't know how they call this a lander. It's beyond me. W what is this, first of all? What is this texture around this said lander? Right here. Okay. And then we can see what's right here. Nice and square goes down, goes across. Okay. So the detail is here, but nothing around here. Let's do this. I'm going to go into cyan plate, but I'm going to keep it on the RGB. Okay? Look at this, guys. Look at this. What you're seeing, these different colors are different density of the obfuscation, the censoring. Look at this. Let me back out. Look at this crap. Why don't we see this in the foreground? Well, you can see it a little bit. Check this out. Where they might have blurred something out, they just wanted to overlay it a little bit more, and they wanted to take out whatever it is they were trying to hide. Now, again, what is going on here? What is that right there? I don't, I, I don't even know what that is. Something was there because it has height to it. You can see whatever that is. It's got height. Okay. All right. Let me go into the actual cyan plate view. And this is what we got. 
Again, you can see by the darker and lighter colors, has a different density of the obfuscation or the censoring. It's as simple as that. Look at that. Right? Right here. Decent detail, although that was messed up, meaning something else to use some kind of texture in this area to go around the lander. Well, because this piece is sticking out right here, they want people to think it's the ramp, so therefore it's the lander. I, I listen, guy, look at this. What is that? That's a regular. That's a stock photo right there, by the way. What the hell? How is that a lander? Okay, let's suppose it's just a really bad photo, and that is the lander. We'll go with that, right? Okay, so I showed you this. Now let's go back into CMYK. So we got full color photo, and we're still seeing the raw plating of this. And there you go. Now, I want you guys to take note of these little objects, because I'm going to do the full enhancement here in a moment. Things like this here. Okay. We've got straight parts running right across here. See this? We got white pieces. These are the things you want to keep an eye on. Right here. It actually looks like this thing's going like this, coming down, going like that. And on the bottom, it echoes the same thing. Okay? Another straight pot right here. What's up with that? Now, these are in supposed lunar hills. Why do we have straight, what well, looks like pipes or framework or something, right? It's because these aren't hills, guys. And they're not any kind of lunar, you know, butte or cola, what you will. Hill doesn't matter. It's not what it is. You're going to notice something right here. It's doing this. And it's right inside this blur and censoring there's something right here and you can see right here it still keeps going but they put a different color texture there's something else over here too you're going to see that in a moment right and there's much more let me show you right here this is interesting this piece right here i'm going to go to the original there it is right there's something else right here Something right here. And like I said, you can see these bits and pieces of white pieces sticking out. That's the real deal, guys. That's what they forgot to take out. There's something right here going like this. It's like the corner of something sitting right there, right? Okay. All right, let's go into the full enhancement. And this is it right here. We darken all the brighter pieces so we don't distract the eyes. And let's have a look around at this so-called background, shall we? There are clearly there are pieces laying here. You can see that. Like I said, we got straight pieces running right here. You can see that. We've got pieces like right here. You see where they try to take it out right exactly right there where it's lighter like a tan instead of that white which you see right here. Right? So what I do is I try to balance it out. We can see the actual shape to this uh, anomaly, right? You can see it right there. Right there. Okay. All right. Let's keep going along here, guys. Again, what's with the straight pieces coming out here? What, what, what is that? Again, this piece right here. You can literally see it like it's doing this, right? Comes down like this. Okay, let's keep going. Again, another straight piece right here. Now, is that an original photo? It sure is. You can see it right here. It's not super straight, but it is there. There it is. Something right here. It seems like more framework and machines laying there than a regular hill. And you can see something around right here. Actually, it looks like there's something standing up right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. But there's pieces here. You can see this doing this. And you can see this piece coming down like this. You can just see the corner of that now right there. Like that. What the stuff is, guys, I couldn't begin to tell you. But something is here. And no way is this stuff natural. Now let's keep going all the way to the right. Check this out. Look at the parts in here. This is cool. All 
right? Again, we get this piece right here. And guys, we're not even seeing maybe a tenth of this stuff, which is really here. What it is, couldn't tell you. But I can tell you this. It's definitely not natural. And it's definitely intelligently made. Again, in the middle of this photo. And you can see this, guys, right here. Check this out. It's quite wide as far as right here. Okay. Whatever this piece is right here. Now, again, this is very lousy because we're trying to get through the manipulation. Okay. But check this out. Look directly underneath it. You can see this point to this thing has a shadow right here. See that? Have a look at that. There's a shadow under it. It's part of machinery or whatever it is. It's laying right there on the surface of the moon. On the other side of the moon. Okay. Right there. Guys, just look at the stuff in the background. That's all you got to do. Look at the bits and pieces. Does that look like a smooth hill to anybody? I don't think so. These guys are smack dab in the middle of something. And you can see that. This is completely com gone. Guys, look at it. Nobody takes a, a picture like that. Look at this. Look at this right here. Nobody does that. That's not a natural photo. What if it happened to just going up there and, say, and taking a high-tech camera, click, taking a photo, sending it back to Earth? No. Clearly, you can see parts of this photo have been sanitized. It's literally been obfuscated. Information taken completely out of this photo. But you'd be none the wiser by looking at it like this. Oh, wow, look at that. But like I said, you got to question just this alone, this whole section. It's crap. When there's clearly things in it. You guys be the judge as always. Please like and share and throw your comments down below. Guys, like I said before, I don't care if it's the Apollo missions. I don't care if it was the Soviet Union going up there with the Lunar Card. I don't care if it's China going up there right now. I don't care who it is. You're not just going up there for simply for rocks and dust. I'm sorry. Now, I think the article says this is the latest mission to grab, like, you know, rocks and, and dust and stuff like that since 1973. But here's my thing. I said this before. What is it with the PRBS? Come on, man. They're not up there for that. And clearly, we can see bits and pieces of what's really laying there. So there's no way this is, this is natural, and there's no way they're going up there just for rocks and dust. As I said before, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And if you like what you see in this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And then hit that little bell on the right-hand side of that so you'll be notified of any new videos coming up. With that, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have yourselves a good evening, great night, good morning, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace, guys.